What in blue blazes? This is the Black Girl's Guide to Outer Spaces and I'm Tiff B. First, on today's show, we're going to be talking about how not to get lost in the woods. This video is for my ladies who are worried about getting lost in the woods. Today we're going to talk about trail markers. Uh, they're also referred to as blazes. Um, at least that's the language you'll hear uh, seasoned hikers refer to them as. Blazes come in different forms. They could be paint. They could be little emblems basically nailed into trees. But either way, the purpose of a blaze or a trail marker is to let you know where you are and to let you know where you need to be going. So it's really important to understand what those markers mean and how to read those markers. Now, each trail is going to be represented by a color, usually red, white, or blue. I know, super American, but that's generally the colors that I've seen most often out on trails. And with that, if I start on a red trail, I may take a path that leads to the blue trail and then I may end up in the white trail that wraps it up. So that's why it's really important to know how to read these and understand when you're going from trail to trail uh, and when you've hit a new trail and which direction to go. So now let's break down what these uh, blazes or trail markers mean. This first set of markers come in a set of three, looks like a triangle. This represents the start of a trail. After you've started your trail, from that point on, you're typically gonna see single blazes. And these single blazes are just letting you know that the trail is continuing on. And you should see a marker every 200 to 300 yards. So please always keep an eye out, make sure you're going the right direction. If you don't for some reason see a marker, either the trail hasn't been maintained very well, which tends to happen if you start hiking early in a spring season, um, or you have gone off track. And I encourage you when you go on those group hikes to test this out, you know, pretend like you're leading the hike. You're with a seasoned hiker, so you're not gonna get lost, but just pretend like you're navigating the trail and take, you know, keep an eye out for those markers. So when you come to a fork in the road where you need to go left or right, be aware of the position on the left side or the right side of that, um, those blazes in the color of the trail that you're on. Um, that's gonna let you know if you need to go left. If the single marker on the left side, you go left, and if it's on the right, you go right. With hikes that I do with loops, a lot of times I start at one color trail and end up at a different color trail. Um, so if you start to see, um, you know, a different emblem or a, set, a different set of blazes that look like this, that's what it means. And if you're at the end of a trail, the rectangle that you saw in the beginning is basically upside down. So you're going to see the three uh, set of blazes in the color of the trail that you were on. I hope this video helped you to kind of understand it. I know when I first started hiking, um, I had no idea what they were talking about when they were referring to blazes. Um, I knew that the single blazes meant something and to make sure I kept seeing that and that was the main thing for me. I was like, as long as I see the color, I know I'm still on the path. Uh, but once I started seeing multiple blazes grouped together, I had no idea what that meant and I didn't ask because I didn't want to look like a rookie. Um, and of course, being the only black girl on most of the hikes that I've been on, um, I just didn't want to be that person. So. Uh, I hope this helps you go out, test it out. Let me know how it worked out. Don't be a stereotype. Just get out and hike. Um, yes, you know, I got a little, little rapping skills in my, in my backpack. I don't want to tell you all about it. But anyway, get out there. Go do it. Don't get lost and have fun. Thank you for watching Black Girl's Guide to Outer Spaces. This is Tiff B. First. See you next time.